BYD is shaking up the EV industry once again with its groundbreaking plug-in hybrid powertrain, setting new benchmarks in efficiency and performance with a completely reimagined engine and transmission. This innovation promises record-breaking features, but can BYD truly deliver on its bold claims, and when will car enthusiasts get their hands on this game-changing technology? Stay with us as we uncover everything about this revolutionary leap and what's in store for the near future. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Just a few months ago, BYD introduced its fifth-generation DM plug-in hybrid powertrain, a true game-changer in the world of electrified vehicles, available in three distinct variants, the efficient DMI, the high-performance DMP, and the rugged off-road DMO, this powertrain redefines hybrid technology. Its staggering thermal efficiency of 46.06% is unmatched, and it boasts the world's lowest fuel consumption at just 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers, with an astonishing driving range of 2,100 kilometers. This hybrid system is the result of years of development, meticulously designed alongside BYD's cutting-edge battery technology. The first lucky models to receive this innovation are the sleek BYD Chin L DMI and the Sporty Seal 06 DMI. Before diving into these exciting new models, let's rewind and explore how BYD became a powerhouse in electric mobility. Founded in 1995 in Shenzhen, China by Wang Chuanfu, BYD originally specialized in rechargeable batteries. However, in 2003, the company made a bold move into the automotive world, launching its first vehicle, the BYD F3, a compact sedan that quickly gained popularity for its affordability and fuel efficiency. Then in 2008, BYD revolutionized the market with the F3DM, one of the world's first plug-in hybrids, setting the stage for its electric future. Meet the BYD Chin L DMI and Seal 06 DMI. Fast forward to today, and BYD's latest creations, the Chin L DMI and Seal 06 DMI, are making waves. The Chin L DMI, a stylish sedan that rivals the Toyota Camry, comes with a 1.5-liter four-cylinder naturally aspirated engine, paired with an electric motor available in either 120 kilowatt or 160 kilowatt configurations. So, battery options actually range from 10.08 kilowatt hours to 15.87 kilowatt hours giving you an electric-only range of about 80 to 120 kilometers, depending on the model. These powertrains, well, they aren't just concepts or prototypes. They're already in full production, ready for customers who are eager to experience the next evolution of hybrid technology. And, you know, BYD isn't just following trends here, it's really setting them. BYD's stock has in fact experienced a boost, with shares jumping almost 7% just a week after it was launched. BYD isn't just driving, they're honestly speeding past the competition. And according to CLSA, there are some predictions that by 2026, BYD will enter the top five automakers in the world. With 92 octane gasoline priced at 7.4 yuan, which is about $1.05 per liter, running costs are around 0.25 yuan per kilometer. This really brings it much closer to the cost of pure electric vehicles, which average about 0.16 yuan per kilometer. BYD pioneered the plug-in technology back in 2008 by launching its very first hybrid car, but you know since then, other automakers have jumped in and released their own cars with ranges as high as 2,000 kilometers. For example, on May 24, Li Auto introduced the L7, which boasts a range of 254 kilometers, fuel consumption of 3.8 liters per 100 kilometers, and an engine thermal efficiency of 41.8%. In March, Geely Auto also revealed a hybrid system offering a range of over 2,000 kilometers, with fuel consumption as low as 2 liters per 100 kilometers, and a thermal efficiency of above 46%. Aside from local brands, BYD is also competing with Toyota and Honda. While Toyota and Honda's hybrid engines have a thermal efficiency of around 41%, BYD's fifth-generation DM engine stands out with a higher efficiency of 46.06%. BYD's cutting-edge technology marks a major step forward in the global hybrid vehicle market, and honestly, the Chinese company is likely to pull even further ahead of its rivals. However, this sudden price drop sparked protests among customers who had already paid the higher price and had waited months for delivery. Generally, independent mechanics are known for their more individualized care and, you know, cheaper rates, but they often have difficulty maintaining the equipment and diagnostic software required for extensive repairs. Self-employed mechanics frequently take great pride in their work and cultivate enduring bonds with their clients. However, 
these mechanics might be limited in the range of services they can offer if they do not have access to the relevant data and updates from manufacturers. As a result of proprietary software, the constraints to accessing these tools change the entire landscape of auto maintenance and repair. This simply means that these mechanics risk losing customers, and the customers themselves would spend more on repairs. This helps repair shop service EVs but, honestly, it limits free access. EV companies also perform many repairs remotely through software updates, reducing the need for in-person service. To fill these gaps, some deploy mobile technicians, however, completely relying on remote fixes and mobile reps, risks limiting independent shops' roles. As a result, some manufacturers collaborate more closely with third parties through training, tools, and support. Customers are also worried that automakers may be economizing by sacrificing some features. This calls for urgent attention because producing vehicles that are less dependable or have shorter lifespans could discourage customers from purchasing them in the future. This may start a cycle in which businesses cut costs without addressing the underlying problems with quality. People may start to feel less confident in purchasing electric vehicles if cost-cutting initiatives make automobiles less dependable, and this might slow down the transition toward more environmentally friendly transportation as customers continue to hold quality and trust very dearly in their choice of automobiles. Navigating the high stakes of owning and maintaining electric vehicles becomes a crucial consideration for any prospective buyer, a complex equation that extends far beyond the initial showroom purchase. It isn't uncommon for customers to eventually want to cash in on their automobiles, viewing them not just as a mode of transport but as a significant financial asset whose value must be preserved over time. One significant barrier to this, however, is the powerful role of perception in the used car market. If a prevailing belief takes hold among consumers that electric cars are less robust, more technologically fragile, or prone to prohibitively expensive battery replacements, then the resale value of EVs may decrease dramatically. This steep depreciation creates a dangerous, self-perpetuating cycle. The decrease in secondhand value can cause prospective new customers to avoid buying an EV altogether, fearing a significant financial loss down the line, which further challenges the overall market demand and adoption rate for these cars. Compounding this issue of perceived value is the very real challenge of physical infrastructure. It is also entirely possible that the critical infrastructure for electric vehicles, such as specialized maintenance facilities and a widespread reliable network of charging stations, won't expand quickly enough to keep up with accelerating consumer demand. Potential owners are faced with a sort of chicken and egg dilemma. Without a dense and convenient charging network, range anxiety just persists. And without a large base of EVs, the business case for building more chargers weakens. Similarly, if accessing qualified technicians or affordable repairs for advanced EV components becomes, you know, a logistical nightmare or a financial burden for a person, the practical appeal of electric ownership diminishes significantly. When faced with these compounded and deeply interconnected anxieties, the tangible fear of rapid financial depreciation eroding a significant personal investment, coupled with the persistent day-to-day -day infrastructural uncertainty surrounding charging accessibility and long-term maintenance viability, the average consumer may ultimately retreat to the familiar, well-trodden path. This often manifests in the decision to postpone an electric vehicle purchase and instead continue driving conventional gasoline vehicles, a choice that provides immediate psychological comfort and perceived practicality. This collective hesitation, however, creates a formidable inertial force, thereby critically slowing the essential and urgent transition to a more sustainable, lower emission transportation future. This dynamic powerfully underscores a fundamental truth for industry leaders and policymakers. The ultimate success of the electric revolution depends not only on the sophistication of the technology sealed within the car's chassis, the battery density, the motor efficiency, the software algorithms, but just as critically, on the strength, reliability, and accessibility of the entire ecosystem that supports the vehicle throughout its entire life cycle. This holistic ecosystem encompasses a robust second-hand market with transparent battery health metrics, a ubiquitous and reliable fast-charging network that rivals the convenience of gas stations, a competitive landscape of repair options that ensures affordability, and clear, governmental policies that bolster consumer confidence. Without this synergistic support system operating in concert with automotive engineering, even the most technologically advanced electric vehicle risks remaining a niche product failing to achieve the widespread adoption necessary for a genuine transportation paradigm shift.